We'll welcome uh, Ashley and uh, we'll get right to questions and we will start with Sam Spencer. Sam, go ahead. Captain, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you, how are you? Doing quite all right. Um, so quick question. I wanted to ask specifically about set pieces. Obviously, um, you know, I, I believe that we are yet to convert a set piece during League's Cup um, as the, you know, you're taking most of the corner kicks. Um, has the team been doing any work on those uh, specifically because um, I'm sure you, you can agree that you're going to want every chance that you can get against uh, Miami? Uh, we do set pieces every day before a game, so that's nothing's changed there. But to get this far without scoring a set piece is, is not bad. So, we've, like I said, we, it's, not, it's not something we've thought of. We've, we looked dangerous in the last game, so like I said, it's just about maybe we get one, we get one tomorrow and hopefully we can we take a chance, but it's just a normal routine for us. We just carry on as we do the day before a game. We always we always practice that piece. So we, we've not we've not thought too much about that, that's for sure. All right, let's go to Carol Walton, please. Hey Ashley, and not to take anything away from you, I think the game time goal that Bender scored was on a set piece. So that was league stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I uh, forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> um it's anyway, really one in football. Yeah. So um I know you're you're a good analytical guy, and if you know if you're just sitting around talking with the boys right now, what do you what's the key to winning this game? How do you guys do that? I think what we've shown during the whole of this competition, we've got a, a real togetherness. I've said it from the start. We've always we feel like there's a togetherness, and I think during this little run, it, we've obviously we've been on the road a lot. We've come against we've we've been up against it every game. Like I said, it's it's something we've embraced. No one's, not one of the lads in there have complained about anything. We've just got on with it. So, and that's the type of characters we want at this football club, just to like, get the head down, work hard and, and believe in each other. And I think it's starting to show now. Let's go to Will. What's going on, Ash? How are you, pal? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. So this game, I feel like uh, very much like the last one, will have to be won in the midfield. How, uh, appetizing is the opportunity not just with Messi but with Busquets there in the middle as well and uh connecting with both Scott and uh, Brandt to try and formulate a game plan against these guys a real benchmark to their standards obviously we're going to miss Nate's a huge loss for us. We're gonna we're gonna be without Nate, which is which is I'm I'm gutted for him because he's he's been probably our best player the last six weeks. I must admit, and the, the but the back four are the back four have been incredible and they're they're vital to it. And we like I said, we'll 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 do our work in there. Well, it's a it's gonna take a team effort. They're on a good run of form, and so always it should be a good game. All right, we're gonna go to Claudio Bonus in La Barra. Eh, Gabriel, si, si puedes traducir a um, Ashley. Eh, primero, eh, bueno, como una, eh, quería agradecerle a él y al equipo porque gracias a ellos esta semana he tenido un montón de, de comunicaciones de, de Argentina para que sepa lo que significa este partido. First of all, I just want to congratulate you and the team. I've had lots of uh, contact and communication from Argentina, so you know uh, what this game means down there. Y mi pregunta es eh, acerca de él, sin duda debe ser el jugador que más experiencia tiene en partidos importantes, si ha podido hablar con los jugadores más jóvenes eh, para de alguna manera transmitirles tranquilidad por todo lo que va a suceder alrededor de este partido. Undoubtedly, you're the most experienced uh, player in the locker room. Have you had a chance to speak to the rest of the guys, to the younger guys, about what they're going to experience tomorrow? I, it's, it's just a game for like any other for us. We've not really, we've not focused on a, a certain individual. It's about they've got a full team and they're, they're 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 good at what they do. So like I said, it's we've. I know for me, I've played against a lot of a lot of world class players in the Premier League. So it's it's about keeping the lads grounded. We've we've got our own. We're not we're we're not too worried what they're going to do. We know we know what we're going to do and we're going to take the game to them. And like I said, if we play our game, we'll we'll, we'll go there with great confidence. Thank you very much. Let's go to Steve Goldberg, please. 
Hey, Ash, cheers to the family. Um, I want to follow up on something that you just mentioned. You have played against uh, other squads with, uh, you know, world class and, and famous players. How would you, how would you compare with this match and, and the star power and the distraction that comes with that to other games that you've played in, in uh, UK? Yeah, it's like in, in the UK, I when I was a young kid, I made my debut against Man United at home. And that was like idols I've grown up with, what, playing against Rooney, Carrick, Giggs, Scholes. So that was, that. I was. I must admit, I was, it was, I had to pinch myself a moment. But like I said, I've, we've been around the block now. It's, it's another game, it's another big game, an exciting game. And I want to, I've played against the best, the best players there is out there. And like to obviously play against Messi tomorrow, who's, for me, is the greatest ever. He's, He's the probably one of the, the best players all around natural natural talent to to play the game and to, to, to be up against that kind of opposition. It's you t you take it on and you want to you want to you want to test yourself against the best players in the world. So we're we're really excited for that for that uh, that chance to do that. And it's we want to and we want to we want to go there and upset the party. Thank you. Let's go to John Lupo next. John, you're on. Uh, Ashley, just a two-part question. First of all, um, some of the younger players like Brandon Cambridge and especially in this tournament, Patrick Aizemang have really made <clears throat> uh, an impact. I think Patrick just brings a little something different, a little extra quality when he comes in off the bench. So what have you seen from those two that you like so much? And sort of an off-topic question, but your former club Burnley starts their latest season in the Premier League tomorrow against City. I know you're obviously totally focused on the match against Miami, but if you could just maybe offer a thought on what, uh, do you stay in contact with any of the guys from Burnley? Or what do you expect from them? Yeah, the two, the two young lads have been, they've been outstanding all year. They've not just on the pitch, it's around the, around the dressing room as well. Uh, and I say it to, I say it to Patrick, keep being the, keep being the amazing human you are, because that takes you, that'll take you a long way in life. And, they're just infectious with the way they are. They're, they're always smiling. They're always happy. They never, like I said, they never moan. No one moans here. It's, we're creating a, we're creating a real good culture here. And that's, and they're, a, they're a huge part of it. And like I said, when they, when they come on in the games, they're now showing they belong here and, and they're, they're winning games for us, which is, is even more of a positive. So that's, it's great for them too. And like I said, it's, I'm super proud of them and, and hopefully they, they continue to be in most importantly, good humans as well as good footballers. But to Burnley, it's like I said, it's the it's going to be a tough game for them. But um, I still speak to Vinny every now and then. I speak to a lot of the lads there. So, and I know for Vinny, it'll be it'll be very very nice for him, especially back in the Premier League and against his former club to to test himself against probably arguably the, the greatest manager in the world. So, I wish them all the best. And I'll with the time difference, I'll thankfully I'll be able to watch a bit of it. All right, we're going to move on to our last three questions. The order will be Kenneth Lee, then Antonio Ramos, then Carol Walton. So, Kenneth, your turn. Hey, Ashley, hope all is well. Um, just wanted to ask, you know, from a captain's perspective, obviously you guys are in a really good form in League's Cup. You know, how is that going to translate to the remainder of the regular season? You know, obviously both have some level of importance. Yeah, we uh we said this when once the once the competition started, we said it's a chance to refresh, regroup, and we've shown a lot of character. I keep going on about it, but it's, we've been on the road a lot, and like I said, no one's everyone's just got on with it. And like I said, now it's it's about taking this. Whatever happens tomorrow, we we've got eleven massive games coming to the end of the season to try and give that push to the to the playoffs. And like I said, we've just moved into a new facility, so hopefully everything's settling into place nicely and we can we can really take that forward to the last 11 games all right looks like antonio put his hand down so we're going to finish strong with carol walton hey ashley speaking of that new facility was it this morning that you saw it for the first time uh moving in and what were your impressions it's yeah it's it's incredible it's they've done a this has done a great job it's it's been a long time coming but the the way they've the way it's set out the whole franchise is here it's Hopefully it's it gives us a real boost and it's it turns out to be a very special place because it's certainly from the minute we've walked in here, it feels like home straight away, which is testament to what the staff have done. The owner's done a, a great job. And he was here actually today. So he's he's shown he's shown a real big interest in it. And he's 
like I said, it's everyone's everyone feels part of it. So it's it's an exciting time for the football club. Thank you. All right. I know I said last question, but Sam Spencer did put his hand up. So the real last question is now with Sam. Ashley, as you know, there's a, a big fan group for you called the Ashley Westwood Tea Game here in Charlotte. Uh, just wanted to know if you had any words for them going into tomorrow's match. I just hopefully, hopefully they can make it. I, uh, I've packed my tea bags in my suitcase. I, I asked for a hot water on the plane and uh, I pull out my tea bags so the lads laugh at me. But it's one of them things. So hopefully they, if they manage to get there, they, hopefully they can cheer as loud as they can and, and we'll, try and, we'll try and get the win. Well, I'll try and get the win and... and dedicate to them so that's I'm thankful for their support thank you best of luck tomorrow thank you very much all right everyone thank you very much thank you uh ashley we wish you the best of luck tomorrow thank you very much